car and we drove around the block and we drove up to the steel gate and you open the gate and we walk in and it's just this great big four acre lot. There's nothing, it's completely empty. And he turned around and he handed me the keys and he said, here you go, kid. It's all yours. Don't screw it up. Uh, the story of Everyone Village really started at Westside Christian Church, which is not too far from here as a crow flies. And as I graduated from Bushnell University in 2019 with a pastoral degree, I helped that church to uh, come to a close and help it sell its building. And in that process, on the intersection in front of the church, I noticed that there was the same small group of folks um, panhandling and, and clearly experiencing homelessness. And one day I just went over and said hi and got to know their names and then checked in once in a while and we slowly over time became friends. And then one day it started raining real hard and I said, man, you're my friends. The least I can do is let you sleep on the covered porch of the church building. And they did. And uh, after a series of events that um, really uh, helped me to begin to understand what the world of experiencing homelessness was like from their experience, uh, we partnered with the City of Eugene's Manager's Office and the Eugene Police Department and created a formalized program on the porch of the church, and it included those folks giving back to the neighborhood through work service parties, and it really changed that neighborhood in an amazing and powerful way. On January 1st of 2022, we opened Everyone Village officially with a set of nine folks living here to start, and we just not that long ago, obviously, celebrated our one-year anniversary of being open, and we are now at 50 folks living here and growing very well. Sitting in the staff office of Everyone Village, it's a modest space, but it is the brain hub of all the work that's done behind the scenes to make Everyone Village go day-to-day -day and be a part of all the innovative work this community is doing to tend to the crisis that we're facing. Um, one of our brightest and most amazing spaces is the Welcome Center. This is the living room hub center point of the relational model that we use at Everyone Village. There is meetings in here, gatherings in here, case management in here. We have a private room for counseling and one-on-one -on -one sessions. We have uh, a lounge area for folks just to socialize and enjoy each other's company. And we invite partners and friends into the Welcome Center. It's a safe place where we try to keep the folks living realities out back in the village portion private but we've established our whole time that this welcome center space is where the community and the village do life together once we walk here out of the back of the welcome center now we're in the full scope of everyone village the four acre property donated by rexius it is a half developed at this point we're looking into spring and summer of this year to develop phase two but right now there's 60 dwelling units we have a full subterranean three-phase electric grid, so every individual dwelling unit has its own power. We have installed a sewer line and we have a shower pod now, and we're working on building a toilet house, and a laundry house, and an expanded shower house soon, which will all be hooked to the sewer system. We have a wide variety of dwelling styles here. We have RVs that usually belong to the people that live in them. We have pallet shelters, which are the white structures you've seen around town that the county has brought in for us. We have a few Conestoga huts, which are the hoop structures. We have a small handful of tiny homes. Uh, and then we have in the middle a covered smoke shack. This is the center point of social life out back here. Um, obviously, fire marshal says you can't smoke in the unit, so this is a social center point. So for someone who is experiencing homelessness in our community and would like to be at a place like Everyone Village, the process is really clear and simple. We have a website, everyonevillage.org. And right at the top, there's a big button, apply. And so people click that. It's a simple information gathering application that comes right to our staff. We reply immediately. We've received your application. You're now on our wait list. One of the things we really believe in at Everyone Village is making life at Everyone Village just like life in Eugene and Springfield. That way, when folks transition out of Everyone Village back into the larger community, there's no disruption or awkward differences. And so, Life is busy here because life is busy in our community. And so every day we bring a lot of partners to Everyone Village that bring resources. And so case management, housing navigation, one-on-one -on -one counseling, group therapy sessions, uh, drug and alcohol treatment opportunities, uh, government resource help, all that comes here all the time. And so life at Everyone Village is full, rich, and you might say kind of busy at times.